into week two. So let's go and have a look at Division yeah, 2 yeah. then, Johnny. Let's see we'll divide it. Let's see who's started well over there. Yeah, so this is so yours. Division 2, we've got the Orkney Orcas, 186.46 to 153.18 the Pant the Buccaneers. Frankfurt Panthers, 161.44 to the 194.23 Warners Bay Goonies. Closet Fight and Gophers, 206.35 to 190.87 Harrow Harlequins. Newcastle Colts, a whopping 245.93. The Solly Hill Sharks, 205.87. Yorkshire Friends, 157.88 to 202.28. Stockholm Bengals. The Diamond Goats, 176.53 to 132.76. The White Hill White Tigers. Hey, I'm actually just happy to get in the bin when I had McCaffrey. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh. look, talk, us, talk us through your win then, Johnny. How did it fly? Well, I think obviously CJ's crowd that got up. Uh, I had Hubbard that did bugger all, but I think that they were just behind that quick that Bryce Young just had to try and throw the ball away, and they were just well, he did, he did, he, he, he really did. What would worry me about Cooper Hubbard Cup. as well as <laughs> yeah, Cooper Cup? Yeah, there you yeah. go. What would worry me about Hubbard two receivers. the uh, touches that, San that Sanders got? They actually get five carries each, Hubbard and Sanders, so that, yeah. that would worry me. What a wide receiver the partnership there, Johnny Acuff and Reed. You must be uh, happy with them. And well, I'd be more happy if uh, Bonich could hit a barn door because he might have got more catches. But, but yeah, it's happening well, if they don't show seven points. Conklin. I would be two, more. Uh, one I, would reception. Be, I would look more to the Sutton thing. I would look more on the fact that he had 12 targets. You know what I mean? So he's definitely yeah, some of them are Sutton as the number one. Yeah, but they were uncatchable, half of them. But, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's it'll, it'll probably a fact, you know. I was a bit disappointed with Bobby Ariki because obviously I watched the game with the Giants fan and Ryan Burns seemed to be doing more tackles, but then he was getting penalised a lot more as well, like because he's a good player, but he's also a bit in the dirtier side. So yeah, yeah. He, he'll get his chances as well. Yeah. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't well, be worried about that one. So I'm happy getting the win, even though this man ended up on the bench. And I did hear a rumour that he might actually be out this weekend too. So fuck knows what I'm going to do with that one. I don't see yeah, that. I really need I'm them back. But yeah, that, that's a big win with McCaffrey on your bench, Johnny. It's got to be said. Good start to the season mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, and obviously the the big one, or the one we tipped to win the division. Yeah, let's go and have Sean. a look at uh, how Sean's knocked out. Aaron, Rodgers, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, Saquon Barkley, Joe Mixon, Pittman, Devontae Smith, Christian Kirk, Laporta, all underperforming, Kamara, uh, Aaron Jones, Sanders, Anzalone, and Spillane. It just goes to show you the difference when both your defenders knock it out of the park, you know, and hit you over 20 points. That's what gets you up over the 200 when you're, both your defenders get you over 20 points each. It's a great way to go, you know. I mean, obviously, Barkley and Mixon's helping out massively, but you can get away with an Aaron Rodgers at 14 points, you know. I mean, Solihull yeah. Sharks gutted, you know, 205 oh, points yeah. and losing that. Again, it's nothing to worry about, you know. Day. You're only 0 and 1. Your team you scored really John highly. Johnson, five points. Ingram. You're on McBride. Ingram. That's a crap week for McBride, a crap week for Ingram. Both are going to have much better oh, weeks along the way, you know. So, Sean, so Sean will be absolutely cool, cheesing, though. It's a great start for him. But he's got a DB and, in. I like Kyle Hamilton, but he's, yeah, people don't, yeah. And here he, 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 here's go, what I'm got, saying oh, about quarterbacks on the look at the bench. Here's what I'm saying: quarterbacks on the bench, 42 points. But you're never going to start them over Lamar Jackson. So what's the point in having them there? No. It's just going to make you feel bad every week, <laughs> you know. And yeah, the kicker that beat the kicker that beat them pageously. I went to I went to bed last night. I was leaning, but I didn't think I was going to win. But he only lost by four points, and he had bloody Moody the kicker scoring 26 points against me in this other league. I was raging. I knew I was going to get beat, but I didn't realise it was uh, going to get that many points. I mean, 20, if it was it six, six field goals or something? No, yeah. get away with that all six season. Field goals, that, sure. Two over 50, two over 40. Aaron Rodgers has proved his all that he's finished, doesn't he? Well, so. uh, huh? Aaron Rodgers has proved his all that he's finished. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't look well. They were against a fourth line of defense, so they are probably on the I best know, one. I know, I know. We'll see next we'll game. See what it's like did, did you, did you see any of the game last night? 
And they said uh, saw, Williams on the bench as well to come in. He's going to. I saw bits of it, but it was pretty knackered after being up all Friday night, Thursday night, Sunday night. I had no sleep. So I, I, like, yeah. I don't. I don't know why I'm Rogers sat. I don't know why Tyrod Taylor got a, a run out. Do you know? Was it just because the game was over? I think it's just because the game was over, like because it was it was Fair late enough. on he came on. So I'm guessing Rogers uh, just got fed up falling on his arse and getting knocked over. So. You had that funny look on his face, you know, when he's just been clobbered and he's like... Yeah. <laughs> he was looking like that pretty early answer. on, like, so... I and think it was after a Paul, when Paul fumbled, his face was just like, what the fuck have we done? A really hard oh, start as well, so he's going to need to get his shit together pretty quickly. But, um, yeah, he's got shit there. So, there, I mean, there's great players on the bench for these two teams as well, you know. So, Solihull Sharks mm. and Newcastle Colts, great start to the season. No real injury problems going into week two. So, both will be quite, even though they lost, Solihull Sharks has to be quite happy with that, you know, as a start well, to the season. Score, and, yeah, yeah. again, si- six great wins and uh, six great wins and six, six looking to get over it next week but uh, so, uh, so week one you know it's very rarely do you get so- a team going kind of four and five without a win and you don't get a team going four and five without a loss you know so it's only week one well that's it well it's only how Sharks were the third highest scoring team unfortunately they came up against Sean yeah the highest scoring team 